Welcome Concrete Super Freaks, my name is Tyler Lay, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the theory of doubly reinforced concrete beams. Let's go! If we have a beam like this, we've got some steel on the bottom, and that's the tension steel, that's AS. The steel on the top is the compression steel, we call that AS prime. D, that's the distance from the compression fiber to the center of the tension steel, and D prime is the distance from the ten compression fiber to the centroid of the compression steel. Ah! Compression steel is a useful tool, but it is a pain to find the exact capacity because you have to iterate to get it, and I'll show that to you coming up. But there are lots of benefits of, of compression steel. It can be used to reduce the strain in your tension steel. If you ever, 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 ever have a fee problem, you can actually put in compression steel, and that will reduce the amount of strain in your tension steel. You, it can also reduce your creep deflection. It also increases the ductility. Remember case four from that other video I showed you? The one where you really, really start to get ductility, really, really have to go keep going? That's a good thing, that's how you save lives. That's case four, that's very helpful. It also gives you something to hang your stirrups on. It's pretty common to always have compression steel in your beam. It's not very common to take that compression steel into account to find the capacity, but we're gonna show you how to do it today. In this cross section, if we look at our strain diagram, if we look at our stress diagram, our stress in the bottom and our steel, we assume it's at yield. We're gonna have some steel on the top, okay, at some other stress, and then we have a compression block. And we can find the res these resultants. Here's the big problem. We don't really know what the stress is in that top steel. We'll talk more about that coming up. That is the issue. But depending on the distance from the neutral axis to the compression steel, that steel at the top, it may be yielded, it may not. It depends. And that's not good. That's not good. Depends are diapers. And that's not good. And depends also means we have to iterate. Ugh. If you have been a loyal watcher of Simple RC, my channel, you've already seen how we design and handle T-beams. If you haven't seen that video, go back and watch it, it's totally awesome. That video is super helpful to understand this one because they're so similar. We're gonna handle double reinforced beams just like we did a T-beam. We're gonna make one substructure that has all the compression steel and some tension steel and the remainder of the tension steel and the rectangular block at the top. What is he talking about? We're making two substructures. We're gonna take the steel out of the top and we're gonna balance it with steel at the bottom. We're gonna find the resultants from that and then ultimately find the moments from that, the moment down here at the bottom. Once we know the amount of steel at the bottom, we can actually come back up here and solve for the moment capacity of this. We know how to do this, we've been doing this. This isn't hard. Find the compression resultant, find the tension resultant, or our 0.85 F prime C B, B A, find our tension, find what our, our tension has to be equal to our compression, find what our depth of our compression block is, and find our moment, and ultimately we add these two together. Not that hard, right? Here's the problem. We don't know what this number is. We don't know what it is. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to guess a number, go through, see if it's right, and then check it. And if it's not, we have to guess again. And keep doing that again and again and again until they match. No worries, I'm gonna show you an example problem where we do this in great, great detail. But after we do the iteration, it's not that hard. After you get F prime S correct, it's not hard. It's just plug and chug. And you go through and you find your moment here, you find your moment here, and you add them together and find total moment for your cross section. If you like these videos, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. Give me a nice comment. Tell some friends about them. Let people know. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.